Hello everyone. In this video, we will see what are interactive filters in service now. First of all, the definition. These filters allow you to filter report widgets directly from a home page or a dashboard without modifying the reports. As you can see in the screenshot, there is a report on left hand side and there are filters. And then we can actually filter with respect to assignment group, category, priority or state and those will be reflected back into the report. For this, the end user doesn't have to always create a new report based on some uh, filters. So interactive filters are really helpful when you want to apply multiple filters on report more often. Some points to remember interactive filters on home pages do not retain default values or retain values login on page refreshes. This functionality is available only on dashboards. So that is why I will create these interactive filters on dashboard. If you don't know how to create dashboards, please click on the top right corner. And the second point is interactive filters are not supported for reports which are based on metric based source. So it cannot be applied on metric tables as they have lo loads of data. So that's why ServiceNow hasn't enabled interactive filters for metric based tables. Now let's go to ServiceNow to create interactive filters. I'm currently logged in in ServiceNow and I have created a dashboard called custom interactive filters. And there is a report which shows all the active incidents in this report. If you already have a home page and want to convert that home page into a dashboard, please click on the top right corner and I will also provide the link in the description as well. And now we will create an interactive filter for this report. For that, I will go to interactive filters, which is automatically available in all the instances and under report, under administration, interactive filters. I'll open this in the new tab and I'll click on new. And as soon as I click on new, the first option is what filter should be based on. You can have it as a cascading filter that means multiple filters choice list reference if you are referencing to some other field date group boolean let's choose a reference and we will create an interactive filter based on the assignment group and i can name it as assignment custom filter and after that you can provide a description for this as well and then the ui control type do you want the user to select multiple values in that filter or a single input so you can select either of these and if you want to show the choices as checkbox like we had in our in our screenshot check boxes like this or maybe if you want radio buttons you can select either of these as of now i will select single input and now we will choose the reference table name which should be the one where we have to apply the filter for for example we are creating report on incident table and the filter is based on assignment group which is in sys user group so we will select the user assignment group table and as soon as we select this we can have conditions to be displayed like only the active group should be visible and further you can have your own conditions as well i will save this and if i scroll down to the bottom there will be a related list called interactive filter references i'll click on new and then we will have to map a particular field of the incident table with the particular field of the user group table so that it knows which columns to match while we are filtering in the reference table i will select as incident because we will be referring to the incident table and then i will choose the assignment group column i'll click on submit and our interactive filter is created now i'll go back uh, to my dashboard i'll click on add widgets and then i'll select interactive filter here and then i will search for my filter name or i can choose from my recent content and i had created assignment custom filter and i will add this here and you can see a drop down has came and we, here we can select the assignment group name and as soon as i select database nothing will happen as of now because these two widgets are not 
uh, interlinked yet and for interlinking them I'll click on settings button on interactive filter I'll ensure that act as an interactive filter is checked here and for my reports it should say follow interactive filter and I'll say done and as soon as I select done this report will apply this filter database here let's try changing it to network and it should change that automatically and now there are three incidents in this report you can also resize these reports to look more interactive for example if I move it here and move this particular re report on the right hand side we can have something like this where we can resize these widgets as well and if I click on this cross you can go ahead and select any custom filter from here I will go back to the, my interactive filter again and I'll select multiple inputs and I'll save this now I should be able to select multiple inputs here I'll refresh this and here if you see we have created this on the dashboard and we refresh the page so the values are retained here and then I'll select other value for example database again and now we can select multiple values here network and database and the filter will be based on this this was all about creating interactive filters from scratch if you have any questions please do let me know in comments thanks for watching the video